Welcome to LG Homestead. We are new to homesteading, so this channel is about our adventures in learning how to homestead and becoming more self-sufficient. However, this video is gonna be a little bit different because a company recently reached out to me and wanted to do a collaboration with our channel. And so when I did a little research on who they are and what they had to offer, it was a no-brainer. I had to share this with you. So in this video, I am gonna show you how to get an emergency stockpile of antibiotics prescribed to you by a board certified physician to store just in case of an emergency situation where you're needing antibiotics and cannot get medical care. This is something that I would have ordered had I known it existed. I just hadn't seen it before, um, before they reached out to me. I ordered mine about a week ago. I've got it here, I'm gonna open it for you, show you what's in it, talk to you a little bit more about about the company and what they offer. The name of the company is Jace Medical. I will leave a link in the description below this video so that you can go get yours. If you use that link, I will get a small percentage of the commission. This box came to my mailbox. Oh, has my stuff in there. So it's Jace Medical. Again, in the description below is a link to get your case. So you get the case, five antibiotic, and it is prescribed to me. It has my name on it. And it gives a set of instructions on here. On each one of these, here's your fifth one, azithromycin. And then you get this emergency antibiotic guide. Okay, let's look at this. Today is the 24th of June, so my order date was the 21st of June, so it only took a few days to get here. Um, each one of these prescription, um, with a prescription number on there, my name, and then the name of the prescriptions. Okay, with any prescription, you're going to get uh, a little bit about the medicine that you've been prescribed and a little bit about side effects. And so that's what this is. This is a prescription from a physician. So you're gonna, you're gonna get a little bit about it and, and, and possible side effects. Now, I'm not sure how these names are pronounced, but I'll give it a try. You get ciprofloxacin, 500 milligram tablets. There's a 28 count. Then you get amoxicillin, 125 milligram tablet tablet with 28 count azithromycin 250 milligram tablet six count metronidazole 500 milligram tablet 30 count and doxycycline 100 milligram 120 count the guide here the emergency antibiotic guide tells a little bit about jace medical but you can you can look up what you need to take this is the contents by condition so for example if you had an animal bite or a human bite, I guess, I guess in the case of a zombie apocalypse, you could take amoxicillin or doxycycline. So you go to page one, let's just stick with amoxicillin and go to page one. So amoxicillin and, and whatever that word that goes along with it, 875 milligram and 125 milligram. Doses based on the amoxicillin uh, the dose is based on the amoxicillin component, it says. Uh, it gives you a caution, expiration, and storage. You have to see Appendix C, um, pregnancy risk, Category B. It talks about breastfeeding and notes. It says it may be taken with meals or on an empty stomach. And so you're opening this with me. I haven't looked at this in this form. There was a PDF that I, that I looked at on online. It, um, but I haven't seen it in, in this this form. So Appendix B, expiration dates and storage, and it tells you how to do that. Appendix C, medication disposal, and there is a warning on Appendix D. So you can look at the content by drug and what it's used to treat, or you can look at look at it by condition which we've already looked at. And then it also goes through, uh, you know, if you just wanna look through, it tells a little bit about each type of drug and what they're, 
what they're used for, bite wounds, pneumonia, sinusitis, anthrax, plague, bio, bio terror exposure. That's interesting. Uh, the doxy, doxycycline, oh, urinary tract infection, another way to treat anthrax and pneumonia, skin infections, tetanus. That reminds me, get your tetanus shot. If you're due for a tetanus shot, you can get your tetanus shot. Keep that sucker up to date. But in case you didn't, this pack comes with, with antibiotics that you would need to treat it. The emergency antibiotic guide is, is pretty thorough. Gives you um, directions on, on dosages, depending on how you, what you're treating for. And I'm just really excited to have one of these. I'm really excited to be able to, to, share, to share this on, on the channel and give you guys an opportunity to get some for yourself. Now, again, this is for an emergency situation when you are not able to get health care. This is not for you to have instead of going to the doctor. This is for a situation where you're traveling out of country and you can't get health care or uh, a, a pandemic. You know, when, when the pandemic came through, it was very hard to get to the doctor. You get up to the parking lot and then you call them again and they come out and tested you for the pandemic and that's it. And they send you on your way. You know, that, I don't wanna be in that situation again. Right now, we, we all know that we're having supply chain issues caused by many things. Uh, it's not real bad right now, but, but we can't foresee what the future holds in that. So, I mean, it's always good to have something like this on hand. We keep first aid kits in our house, and I think this should be a big part of our first aid. So, if something worse were to come through, or something that lasts longer, or there's a hurricane or tornado or anything that could just temporarily prevent you from getting health care, this is your prep for that. And I think it's a good idea and I'm glad to have it. With modern telemedicine technology, it has become more and more common for doctors to give consultation via the internet and prescribe medicine. Jace was founded by a board certified physician. So when you click the link below and go to the website, you'll have a, an online call, consultation. You'll answer some questions and then a board certified physician will review your questions. Uh, they'll ask you about your medical history. You will also need your state issued ID or driver's license because you'll have to take a picture of it at their website or upload it to their website. You have to pay for these antibiotics out of pocket. They don't take insurance. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if insurance would cover something like this, but um, they don't take any insurance, so, so be prepared for that. And it's uh, $250, $260, somewhere in there, for your case. And like I said, you can order one for each adult in your family per year. I hope this video has been beneficial to you. If you've enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up, share the video out. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.